back to SourceFed, I'm Lee Newton. Frogs! So cute, so sweet. The seemingly innocent amphibians that are so adorably characterized in beasts like Kermit, Diggum, and Trevor. Technically a toad, but who cares? Moving on. Because the seemingly adorable animals that you know and love are now murderers. Murderers! Or at least they have the power to be because British experts have successfully bred a rare species of frog so poisonous that it can kill ten men. Ten men! The blue poison dart frog is a type of frog usually found in the tropical rainforests of Costa Rica and Brazil. But we humans were destroying their habitat. So scientists stepped in and decided to breed the slowly depleting blue poison dart frog in their lab. And why is this such a big deal? Hint, the blue poison dart frog got his name from being blue and poisonous, also the size of a dart, and you know, the fact that he's a frog. Well, eh, that was more of an answer now, wasn't it? I'm not very good at hints. The frog is poisonous! Not like, oh no, you're gonna get a rash! Put that frog down, poisonous! Like, it could kill ten men dangerous! I mean, why would the scientists feel like it was necessary to breed an animal that was gonna kill us ten at a time? I know I'm gonna sound nuts on this, okay? But it makes me wonder if it wasn't some biological warfare plan all along. Market frogs as beloved young animals, then turn them into weapons. Tiny blue weapons the size of a paperclip. Why, scientists? Why? What are you talking about? Okay, we're slowly killing them, Lee. We have to undo the wrong that we did, all right? Their habitat is being destroyed. Oh, and also, there's like a hundred different species of poison dart frog. They're literally everywhere. Not literally. They're figuratively everywhere. But they're just waiting to kill us? No, Lee, the frogs only become super poisonous when they ingest a certain type of bark indigenous to their area. Obviously, that bark isn't just sitting in a science lab, so you're gonna be fine. Oh, also, the poison dart frog actually has amazing properties. Researchers have already developed a synthetic version of their venom that shows promise as a painkiller. Really? Yeah. Wow, God, how do you know all this? Oh, right, the zoology degree. No, I, I mean, I wish. One summer, I worked at a logging company marking trees that were set to be cut down. I felt bad about it, so then something actually really amazing happened. I was, uh, I was shrunk by a fairy named Krista. She and her bat friend told me all about the true adventures of the rainforest and how magical it actually was, even though we're trying our darndest as humans to destroy it. We have to give the forest back what we took from it, Lee. Okay? One blue poison dart frog at a time. That's just the plot to Fern Gully, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was a zoology degree. Oh, uh, okay. Great. It was a goof. <laughs> so guys, what's your favorite Fern Gully <laughs> Let us know in the comment section down below. And while you're down there, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, click this annotation for our five daily stories. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. I love Ferngully so mm -hmm. much, man. I know. What a, a powerful statement of a film. Yeah, that's a true story. Yeah. I would know. Jimmy. Save the trees, everyone. And the fairies.